What's up, y'all? It's Sheeta, and welcome back to my little corner of the crafting universe. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, thanks for coming back. If you're new here, welcome. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to sublimate these glass tumblers using a Cricut mug press. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just going to show you real quick how I made my designs. I'm making two cups for my boys, one for each. Um, and I made these in Canva. I just got some Google some images off Google um, because these are for personal use. So the dimensions I used were 9.75 inches by four and a half inches. And then you're just gonna see me real quick just to size the designs to the dimensions. Um, and I did have to duplicate it and I just lined it up to make sure it looked um, as uniform as possible. And you'll see me do the same for the second design for the other cup. And then I just saved those pictures to my file. So next, I'm going to show you um, the steps I go through in my print settings to print these out. FYI, for sublimation, you're going to want to make sure you mirror the images, um, especially if you're printing out something with words, because if you don't, when you go to sublimate it on whatever product, shirt, cup, whatever, it's going to show up backwards. So you want to make sure that you mirror your image. So now you're going to see me just cut off the excess, um, the excess white border. I am going to leave a little bit of white on one of the side edges, just so when I line it up to, I can slightly overlap it so that my seam looks seamless. Okay, so here I'm going to show you some of the things you need. So I took um, a black a piece of silicone mat I had and I just cut that. That's going to go at the bottom of the Cricut Muck Press. I have a silicone wrap that I got off of Amazon. They come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. And I'm going to use the medium thickness. Some alcohol. I think that's like 90% um, rubbing alcohol. Some heat resistant tape. And then also, of course, the star of the show, the glass tumblers. And you want to make sure these are good for sublimation. You can't just use regular ones. And then also butcher paper. I'm going to use this to put on top of the sublimation paper after I tape it to the tumblers. And then, of course, here's my two um, pictures that I'm going to use to wrap the mugs. Not the mugs, the tumblers. So first, I'm going to rub the tumbler down with the rubbing alcohol. Some people use lint rollers. Alcohol works just fine for me. Just going to get off that oil and, you know, the lint. Then you're going to line up your design. Now, the key here to getting a good result is to make sure that your paper is on as tight as possible. You want to make sure you don't have any air gaps because if you do, you're going to get some fading on your picture. So you see me here just lining it up, making sure my seam is lined up correctly and making sure it's as tight as possible on this glass. And now I'm going to use my heat resistant tape to tape it together. 
Now, as you see what I'm doing here, I'm pulling, putting the tape on the sublimation paper or along that seam and pulling it because I want to make sure that paper is as tight as possible against that glass. You really want to make sure you don't have any air gaps. Again, like if you do, you're going to have some fading around that part. You're going to want to tape the crap out of this. So I'm really going to tape the crap out of it. Every seam, every edge, I'm really going to make sure to try my best to tape it really good so there's no air gaps. And you're gonna see me like take my nail and like press in against that crease to again, just to reassure like no air is getting through there. And like I said before, I'm gonna tape all around the edges, every edge I'm gonna tape all around it. So you'll see me here, I'm lining up the butcher paper along the seam of the sublimation paper. This is just gonna help me identify, um, it's gonna give me like a marking point of where to turn it around, of how far to turn it around in the mug press. And you're just gonna see me do the same steps again with the second tumbler, rub it down with the alcohol, and tape the crap out of the sublimation paper and the butcher paper because you want to make sure it's as tightly against that glass as possible. Okay, so I'm going to stick in the silicone wrap, the silicone tumbler wrap. Again, I'm using the medium thickness one. And I'm going to have that heat up in the Cricut um, mug press while that is, while I after I turn it on, so while that's getting ready. So as you see, it's ready. Oh, you wanna make sure you have heat resistant gloves on or else you're gonna burn the crap out of yourself. I'm gonna take that black piece of silicone and put that down at the bottom um, along that little metal circle there. Okay, so I'm gonna place the glass tumbler in and I'm gonna place it with the seam facing me first. And then you're just gonna let the mug press go through a full cycle like normal. Okay, so now that that's done, you're gonna release it. You're gonna turn the tumbler around 180 degrees. So you're gonna have the seam facing towards the back now. And now you're gonna wanna set a timer for two minutes because the mug press might not, all the lights might not light up because it's already hot. So make sure you set a timer for two minutes. And once that two minutes is up, you're gonna take your tumbler out and you're gonna flip it upside down. So you're gonna put the, place the seam facing you again. And then you're gonna wanna set a timer for four minutes this time. Okay, so at the end of the four minutes, again, we're gonna take the tumbler out. If I can get it out, geez. That's why you need these heat gloves because you are gonna burn yourself trying to struggle to get this out if you don't have any. So you're gonna take the tumbler out and you're gonna, again, turn it 180 degrees, place it back in there, and then you're gonna set a timer for two minutes this time. And then FYI, you might wanna make sure your silicone wrap doesn't move. Um, as you can see, I'm like struggling to close the mug press. So I just had to like readjust my silicone wrap so that, you know, those seams were meeting in the front so that my mug press would close correctly. But it still worked. And again, like I said, set the timer for two minutes this time. Final press.
So two minutes is up. And now we're gonna take the tumbler out and we're gonna see how it turned out. Okay, you also wanna make sure you have like a silicone mat or just something, a heat resistant mat that you can set these on. Um, so you'll see me taking the tape off. I'm also gonna use like my Cricut weeding tool because sometimes it's just difficult to peel the tape off with these gloves. All right, so here's the result. Look at that seam. But as you can see up top, there is some fading because it wasn't really, you know, taped down pretty tightly up there. But overall, it looks pretty good. And we're going to see how the other one turned out. And also, sometimes the paper sticks and you might get white residue, like, on your cup. You can easily just wipe that off with, like, a paper towel and some water. It'll easily wipe off. And so far, that looks pretty good, too. I'm happy with it. So here's the end result. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.